Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have an empties video. I was going to start doing my empties videos every three months, but uh, because I was previously doing them every month, at the end of every month, but my empties bin is completely overflowing after two months. So maybe every other month is gonna be a better timeline <laughs> than every three months. So, uh, or I just need to get a bigger empty spin. We'll see. Let me know if you have a preference, but I wanted to just go ahead and do this because honestly, I'm tired of seeing this heaping pile of garbage in my bathroom every time I go in there. So um, I like to do these. I start out with makeup, then I do skincare, uh, hair and body care, and then I have some like miscellaneous kind of household type products as well. Actually quite a few of those to share today. So um, let's just get started because this is overwhelming me. All right, so starting off with the makeup, um, I have a couple of Project Pan makeup products that I finished recently. First, we have the Lauren Brooke Cosmetics blush in the shade Sweet 16. I have been working on this for so long. For a while, this was one of my oldest blushes and I'm so happy to see it go. To review this product, Lauren Burke Cosmetics is a very much kind of like indie brand and I got this in a subscription box a couple years ago, probably like three or four years ago at this point, and I fell in love with this blush and so I ended up trying a bunch of other products from this brand and I didn't really like any of them. So it was kind of interesting that I really loved this blush but I tried a bunch of other types of products. I tried like a little foundation sample, I tried an eyeliner that was a total dud, I tried like an eyeshadow single that was like not pigmented whatsoever. Um, a lip balm that was just okay. Like, it was just all very mediocre and kind of like, meh, not so good. But I love this blush. It's such a beautiful shade. You can't see it now, but I'll put a picture on the screen of what the shade does look like. Kind of a neutral toned pink. Um, has a little bit of shimmer in it, and it just looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. It blends out beautifully. It lasts all day. Um, and it's just a gorgeous blush. And, um, you know, I'm kind of sad to see it go, but at the same time, I'm very happy <laughs> to see it go because I just feel really satisfied. But yeah, if you're wanting to try anything from this brand, try the blush. I don't really recommend anything else, so... There's that. Another product that I am going to be throwing away uh, is the original Beauty Blender. I had this since last November, so nine months I was using this for. Really did enjoy this. There definitely is something special about this sponge that it just has a very different feel to it than other sponges. Almost, it almost feels like a memory foam, but not really. It just has a very special <laughs> feel to it that I don't think any other drugstore sponges, at least that I've tried, really quite mimic, but either way, I have drugstore sponges that I like too, but I was very happy to be able to try this. I bought this in like the sale last fall and really enjoyed it while I had it. I used it for both foundation and concealer. I didn't feel like it sheared out my foundation too much. So I really did enjoy it. If I ever do find it on sale again, I probably would buy it. Also because it does hold up for a very long time. Uh, the reason why I'm throwing it away is it looks like it has a tiny bit of mold starting to grow at the tip, which is disgusting. Uh, I went like maybe a week or so without using it, and then when I went to use it the next time, it had some little flecks on it. But the sponge itself is still holding up really well. It doesn't have any tears. So if I ever did find it on sale again, I really do kind of think it's worth the money because it does last so long. So um, yeah, really did like it. I didn't think I was going to think it was that special. And it really is, like I do still think that other drugstore sponges are great too. I love the Eco Tool sponge. I love the Real Techniques sponge. I currently have that one. Um, those are great too, but this one is just a little bit better. So Okay, next, this is kind of a surprise, kind of a spoiler, if you have been following my Project Pan, but um, I haven't shared this in an update yet, but it will be in my next update. I surprisingly finished this month the Jordana uh, 12 hour made to last jumbo pencil in continuous almond. This is no longer sold, unfortunately. It's a great formula. It's a nude color. I used it as my eyelid primer, and it took me about, I guess about eight solid months to go through it, um, using it as an eyelid primer pretty much every time I did eyeshadow. So you get quite a bit of bang for your buck here. I think it was probably only like three bucks or something. And um, it's one of those formulas that kind of, you know, goes on and doesn't really budge. 
Um, it's almost waterproof, so unfortunately it's no longer sold. If it was, I would totally recommend it. Alright, the only skincare product I have in here, and this is probably the last time I will have this type of product in my empties. This is the Ulta um, On The Go Makeup Remover Facial Towelettes. It only came with five little towelettes. I got this in like a gift with purchase bundle. Um, these were great. They were not super juicy, so if you like really wet towelettes, this isn't them. But they were effective at the few times I used them, and I will say the one thing that it really came in handy for that kind of had me questioning my commitment to no longer buying face wipes was I actually got mascara in my carpet. You know, it happens. And I ended up trying this to remove the stain because I figured, well, if it's meant to remove makeup, maybe it'll work. And this completely removed the stain completely. I was so shocked by how, and really quickly too, I kind of just dabbed it in instead of like scrubbing because I didn't want to like really set the stain in. So I started about out just dabbing it and kind of just like working in it with my fingers and the stain was gone. <laughs> it was amazing. It like completely erased the stain. So um, these could totally come in handy for like stain remover if you tend to have issues with like getting makeup in your carpet and stuff. But Either way, I wouldn't repurchase because I'm trying not to buy face wipes anymore. A couple of... it's mostly just like big products in here. I actually don't have a ton of products, they're just big ones. <laughs> um, the next one, this is another spoiler for my Project Pan, um, but I did finish off the Nature's Gate Sunless Tanner. Um, I ended up cutting it open too. I think this is also discontinued, so not super helpful, but even if it was still available, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it was kind of like a lotion, but it also just came out looking like caramel sauce. <laughs> so it wasn't really like a lotion kind of texture, more liquidy but kind of thick at the same time. It was very effective at making my skin look super tan. The only problem was it was just very hard to get it to not streak and like get all blotchy and stuff, even if I exfoliated really well. Um, and this has gotten old and I kind of didn't use it for like a couple years, <laughs> um, but I went back to using it and it was just really hard to work with, so I don't know if it maybe had just gotten old. But either way, I kind of prefer um, like a tanning mousse. Right now I have the Eco Tan tanning mousse and that works really well. I would totally recommend that. I feel like it's just easier and it really does dry down. It doesn't really transfer onto fabric. This definitely would transfer onto fabric even after it had dried. So. Wouldn't recommend even if it was still sold. Another product that I finished off from my Project Pan, this was, I think y'all knew that both of these were going to be done this month, but this is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion with SPF 15. Um, I wouldn't buy this again just because SPF 15 isn't really a high enough SPF, but it was nice for like daily coverage if I'm going to be spending most of the day inside. It's still nice to have a little bit of SPF on, so I guess for that it was semi-useful. I'd still rather just wear a higher SPF anyway. Um, very hydrating, has kind of like a very light scent. Doesn't really smell like sunscreen, kind of more just like a almondy scent maybe. I guess it kind of smells like sunscreen. Either way, nice lotion. A little bit, I wouldn't say that it's greasy, but you definitely do kind of feel it on your skin. So, um, but if you're looking for like a nice lightweight daily, like low SPF product, um, this was nice. I just don't think I'd repurchase it. Alright, I've got one hair product in here, and this has been in a few of my empties videos. This is the Jason Dandruff Relief Treatment 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't think I'll be buying this anymore. I've gone through a few of these recently, and I just realized that I have to use so much of this to get it to cover my whole scalp. It doesn't really spread out very easily, so I have to get like a whole handful of it. And so I went through it really quickly, and I don't really love that it's shampoo and conditioner in one because I feel like it makes my hair get greasy more quickly um, since I'm putting that conditioner basically right up my scalp. Um, they do have a just plain shampoo version, but that one smells so strongly of sulfur. This one doesn't have sulfur, but it does have the active ingredient um, per zinc pyrithione, which I think is supposed to be really effective at reducing dandruff, which it is. I think it did a really great job kind of clearing up my like flakiness on my scalp, but I just don't really like the formula of this. Now I'm using the Derma E Scalp Relief Shampoo, and I think I like that one better. So um, don't think I'd repurchase this, but it is an effective product. Uh, I just got kind of tired of having to like use so much of it at once. It doesn't really lather very well. I don't know. It just 
not, I don't know, I just got kind of tired of it. A couple of body care products that I have and then the rest is just like random miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> so um, I did use up the Kirk's bar soap, just their original uh, Castile soap. Um, a subscriber actually sent this one to me to kind of introduce me to it and I really did like it. It's very inexpensive. I found that actually the cheapest place to buy it is at the grocery store. Um, if you have like Kroger or any of their like sister companies uh, like Fred Meyer, QFC, any of those stores, they have it in like the regular bar soap section, not the natural like health food section, which is weird because it is kind of a natural brand, but if you go to the regular soap bar section, at like the bottom shelf, they will have a three pack of these for like two or three dollars. Um, and then I know on Vitacost you can get a three pack for like under five. But either way, very inexpensive and lasted me probably two to three months. And I'm very happy to be switching to bar soap now. I was using body wash and I kind of just realized that switching to bar soap would be a really easy switch for me um, and I would be able to go through less like plastic containers and stuff trying to reduce my waste so bar soap has actually been a really easy switch I don't know why it took me so long to switch to it but I did really like this I felt like it was just a little bit drying on my skin but if I'm just good about moisturizing my body which I'm really not then that's not really a problem. Um, so I would repurchase. Right now though, I'm using a bar soap from this brand called Sapo Hill, and they actually sell their bar soaps with no packaging at all, and I actually found that at my Fred Meyer too, and they have it in the natural section. I'm not sure if that's available nationwide. I think it's actually a local brand to the Pacific Northwest, so I'm not sure if that's available everywhere, but I love that it's completely packaging free. That one I think is like $2 for one bar, so it's a little bit more pricey, but I'd rather get something that's completely zero waste um, if I can for just a little bit more money. So that one I just started using like yesterday basically, so I can't really say my thoughts on it yet, but I'm very excited about that one. I feel like it is just slightly more hydrating. I've heard they sell that one at Sprouts too, so check there, but I'm just really excited to be able to find something like that at my grocery store. So either way, those are two great bar soap options that I have to recommend. But I think I'm also gonna start using bar soap for my hands as well instead of liquid soap, um, just to cut down on waste even more. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend that if you're looking to reduce waste. Okay, another body product that I have, this is kind of a body wash that I have repurchased, um, but this is from the Honey Pot Company and it's kind of like a, uh, they're a plant-based feminine care company and this is their sensitive wash, so it's a feminine wash. Um, I use it in more delicate areas, and I do really like it. I already repurchased it. They sell it at Target, um, I think Walmart as well, and also online. So if you're looking for anything like that, I definitely recommend this brand. They're cruelty-free and vegan, and um, I feel like it's kind of hard to find this kind of thing. So they also make like wipes and um, like pads and liners and things like that. So um, really cool company. They're like women-owned, etc. All right, let's see, a toothpaste I used up, the Trader Joe's Anti-Cavity Peppermint Toothpaste. Um, this has baking soda and fluoride. This is not my favorite toothpaste, but it is pretty much the cheapest cruelty-free toothpaste that I've found. I think it's like $2, and most cruelty-free toothpastes are way more than that, so for that reason, I'm tempted to keep buying it just because it is so cheap, but I just don't like the flavor. It's got kind of a bitter taste to it. Um, not the best tasting ever. If you remember like the old Tom's toothpaste from like way back in the day, it's kind of reminiscent of that. And I feel like cruelty-free toothpaste have come a long way, but this one is like stuck in the 90s of cruelty-free toothpaste. So uh, don't love it, but if you're not picky about the taste and you just want something cheap, it is out there and I probably will purchase it again like in a pinch. It's just not going to be my number one favorite. I like Tom's better. Right now I'm using I've got two right now actually. One is from Hello and one is from Burt's Bees. Both of those are great. Jason makes some really good ones. Yeah, pretty much all the brands make great toothpaste, except for Trader Joe's. They're like wagon behind. <laughs> Usually I love Trader Joe's like everything, but not the toothpaste. Moving on to some random stuff. I have a big old bottle of hand soap. This is the Ecos hand soap refill in the orange blossom scent. I got this because it was super cheap, like three bucks for this whole bottle. And I just used it to refill my soap dispenser in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Really nice, very light scent. 
kind of citrusy, kind of floral, pretty smell. I But like I said, I think I'm gonna switch to bar soap for my hands, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it. Maybe for the kitchen? We'll see, but not for the bathroom. A um, couple of really quick things. Oh, another dental care product, the Tom's Wicked Fresh mouthwash. I do really like this mouthwash. I haven't yet repurchased it because I feel like maybe I don't even need mouthwash. Is it really necessary? Who knows? But I do like to have it because it keeps my mouth feeling super fresh and just extra clean. So it is a good option out there if you're looking for one. And I've had those in like so many empties videos throughout my whole channel history. <laughs> Same with the Clear Conscious Multi-Purpose Solution. It's a contact solution. It's the only cruelty-free contact solution that I have been able to find. It's kind of pricey, to be completely honest. I sometimes just wish I would just buy like the generic store brand, like CVS or Kroger brand or something, because it would be like a third of the price. Honestly, I may start doing that because these are sometimes like $10. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for a cruelty-free contact solution, it is out there and it does work really well. Okay, Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Dryer Sheets in the Basil Scent. I've repurchased these several times. This is the best smell, in my opinion, for laundry. It just smells so clean and fresh. I also have their laundry detergent and their scent boosters. It's just my favorite cleaning household scent, um, and I highly recommend them. They're also biodegradable, by the way. So I put them in the compost. I think you can also recycle them. Not sure, though. I, I have my doubts about that. They say you can, but... Uh, it probably depends on where you live. Then I just have two candles from my favorite A to Z candles. These are the last ones from my stash of them, so I'm going to have to place another order soon. <laughs> um, but I have the scents Cozy Blanket in the 9 ounce size, and then I have Eucalyptus and Mint in the 4 ounce size. Um, I don't know that I repurchase either of these specific scents again. They're both very strong. Some of these candles, they are super strong. So if you don't like a very, very strong candle that like fills up your whole house, you're probably not going to like these if you like a more mild type of scent, but they have an amazing scent throw. Cozy Blanket kind of just smells like fresh laundry, like a fresh linen scent. Really nice. I think I'm kind of getting into more of like the warm, like, uh, kind of like fir tree type scents for like Christmas time, like Christmas tree scents. And then I always love like the pumpkin spice scents and the foodie scents too. So um, I don't know if I'd repurchase either of these scents again, but they are really nice if you like this kind of thing. This smells like the Bath and Body Works eucalyptus um, like aromatherapy scent that they have, or at least that they used to have in the past. Um, it smells just like that. So really beautiful scents, amazing scent throw. Big fan of this company. It's like a small women-owned business. Um, all vegan, soy candles, love them. Will be placing an order soon. They have their like Halloween collection out right now, and I might just buy that whole collection because... I'm so excited for fall and Halloween. Ah, okay. So I think that is it for today's empties. A lot of just like miscellaneous stuff, but I really just wanted to clear all this out. I'm thinking I will start doing these every two months, and then if it's not full by the end of two months, I'll do it the next month. Um, but I just felt like every month was getting, I was just getting to the point where I didn't have a ton of stuff at the end of each month. I think I'm just going through fewer products these days, which is awesome. Except this, this time I had so many like giant things. I will be taking a trip out to the recycling dumpster here in a second. I can't wait <laughs> to get some of this stuff unloaded. But hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'd love to have you back very soon. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.